Hey, it's Doug coming to you from the Gear Garage, and we're headed on our way out of here to the 2019 Vi Academy, and you're invited. So I'm here at JetBlue where the people are friendly and laughing, unlike those other airlines whose names we won't mention. And I'm doing the unthinkable, I'm checking my guitars because of this Reunion Blues gig bag, indestructible. I'll see you on the other side. And there she is. All right, so here's the deal. This thing is built like a tank. In fact, it's just constantly doing a great job protecting even a back set headstock, perfectly intact, boom, yet another flight. So we are here at Glen Cove Mansion, and as you can see, people are here too. Mike Rand, we met at what, one of the G4 camps, right? Yeah, 2016. That's right awesome, here. and that right here, and yeah. it's Leslie, is that correct? Yep, Leslie. So she very patiently endures our guitar <laughs> lessons and our various <laughs> noise makings that happen every week. So it's, what's great about these camps is it's a people thing. It's not just about guitar, it's not just about lots of notes, although there are lots of guitars and lots of notes, but this is what's so great about it. It's about the hang. Hey, Billy, say hi. Hi. Billy, what, oh do, you, what, do, you, what do you do? Doug Doppler. It's Doug Doppler. <laughs> what so, is this for? So you're, 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 uh, we're, we're vlogging. Doppler.com? This oh, is we're vlogging. The, we're vlogging. Wow. So I was just saying about kind of all the, you know, the kind of, it's not a perk, but it, you know, well, you know what? It's a thank it's you. A perk. It, it is a perk. Okay, so the deal is, is that what we do is there are certain amazing manufacturers like Boss, hello, and IK Multimedia, hello, who are really cool and actually like to support education and like to support what we're doing here with Dreamcatcher events because technically I'm a Dreamcatcher event contractor, subcontractor, or something. But the idea is we're you know helping guitar players get better at playing guitar, which means we're part of the music education thing. So what's neat is those guys love to be part of what we do. How cool is that, huh? Stop. So I would like to introduce my good friend, Larry Mitchell. Larry. Andy Timmons. So we are at the end of the first full day of the 2019 Vi Academy. And for the latter part of the evening from nine until 12, I work with a range of students, beginners, intermediate, and some advanced folks just kind of working on some of the things like, you know, if you're gonna sit in with Steve Vi, how do you not be nervous? And also, since so many of the people that attend these camps have a tendency to make music on their own, kind of one of the things that we did, it was kind of this circle of chairs that we put together. And we were just kind of playing music in the round, if you will, getting people used to playing with other musicians in real time. It was a lot of fun. Looking forward to tomorrow. I'll see you then. So it's time for a Vi Academy rig rundown. Now, if you know your wah-wah pedals, you'll probably recognize this as, yes, Joe Satriani's pedal board, which probably means Joe's amps, there you go, are in fact nearby. But wait, there's more. Of course, Joe's Axe effects, yep. But wait a second, is that a Mesa Boogie? No, 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 that's two Mesa Boogies directly in front of Joe's Marshalls and Fat Tone Switcher. Could that be? Wait a second. Yeah, that looks like two Lone Stars and an insanely cool pedal board with 
Wait, that's not one. That's a couple at pedals. So obviously this is Andy Timmons pedal board. Thank you very much. And moving over here, we have the Steve Vai pedal board. And over here, we still have the Steve Vai pedal board. And there's more of the Steve Vai pedal board. Oh, no, that's not the pedal board. That's that's uh, that's the pedal boy. There we go. So, and then on the left here, we have Marshall cabinet number one. On the right, Marshall cabinet number two. And in case you were wondering, those are loaded with vintage 30s. Here we've got the Legacy Drive still in action. There is Steve Vai picks. Can I take one? Yes, but the beheading would not be worth it. So I will return that. And there we've got, obviously that is an Axe FX2. I'm sure this is probably an extra one Steve had hanging around. So there's the Synergy power amp, the Synergy modules. Boom. And there's also something really cool here underneath Steve's monitors here, brand new from a company called ISO Acoustics. Those are the stage one isolators, such that the monitors are not rumbling away because of those road cases. Over here, we've got the Dave Wiener rig. That's a pretty slick little rig, I gotta tell you. That's the student jam rig with the Boss Waza tube amp expander. And over here, we're in Dave Wiener land. And so this is the main Friedman head that he's got that he's playing through. This is the backup head, a pair of Friedman 212 cabinets. And here we are, the Coronas keyboard that Dave has been playing through. And uh, it would be not cool to ignore Phil Bino's rig. And get out here in the back. And somewhere down here, there's going to be, there we go, the base helix. And a metal kit for Jeremy. Now let's just take a little bit of a moment and let's talk about guitars. Because holy cow, how could you have rock and roll without guitars? So, Chrome Boy. We're going to get a little reflection here, but there you go. Chrome Boy. Red one. And red two. Brand new strap. There we go. Check out that. Signed by Rubiner herself. That's actually a really lovely strap. That, that's pretty darn cool. So that's Satriani World. Let's head across the stage here. And we're going to move up into Vi World. And we got Thomas Nordegg. Because I know Thomas is over here because Thomas is always over here. Oh, look at this. Ivan has book. Wow. Isn't that awesome? That is Very awesome. cool. Thomas, would you care to hold that up? and? There we go. <laughs> the book of Thomas. <laughs> so here we've got Viro, and we've got various. Uh, we've we got geography going on here, and it, it, it's it's Chrome student of Joe, as opposed to Chrome Boy, and obviously Phillips base, but. Uh, Kind of here in the Vi room. Where's the lovely instruments? All right, that is going to conclude our Vi Academy rig rundown. Hey, so we just uh, finished doing a couple of classes here. Uh, that would be me and Jeff Slingla. Hello. And what we've been doing uh, is kind of talking about tone and texture and volume and kind of how hard you hit the string or how soft you hit the string, depending on what rig you're playing through, it's gonna change a little bit. And the idea is how you kind of craft great tone depending on what you're playing through. So what we've got right here is basically this Marshall JCM 900, which is not necessarily known as a tone machine. Uh, it's known as a thing but right here, <laughs> it's the Marshall. <Marshall's> <laughs> yes. So this is the Waza Tube Amp Expander, which honestly I think is one of the coolest devices that has ever been played, made for playing guitar. So what we've got here is this amazing interface here, which is like what's so cool. And this, what I love about this is, it's like you're going really. Is that really what I think it is? And it's like yeah, I have the ability to craft a signal chain that's basically taking the output, that is to say, the speaker out coming into the box here, and we're able through this very cool USB interface to be able to then get into a GUI here and add effects
that are basically going to come back into the speaker cabinet and you're using the power that's built into the box here to power this. But there's a reactive load which basically means the amplifier through this box is seeing that same relationship it would normally see between the head and the cabinet. And you have the ability on the front end here to configure a number of different reactive loads, most importantly being able to match, thank you very much, give, the, give us the finger model there, thank you very much. Thank you. There we go, oh, and, and thank you, Vanna. Uh, so the neat thing is, is that this is seeing through this control here, the right reactive load, and then you're able to add all these effects in here. So, um, holy cow, that was a pretty good explanation, wasn't you're, it? You're doing great. Thank you, Jeff. I'm re really proud of you, you've been listening all, all day long. Hey, good morning, so we're back, so, just finished teaching a class on basically building your tone throne. And I think one of the things that we really discovered in this class is a lot of us are chasing stuff, but we don't always have a strategy about the gear we put together. And so we end up with collections of stuff, we're chasing something that's in our head, but not having a strategy about the individual pieces of gear that we put together to create a single signal chain is one of the things I think gets people into trouble. There was also, as you might imagine, a lot of talk about modeling gear. And you know, the, my big takeaway is I kind of played through some of the different rigs that I assembled for what uh, I'm doing here in the class. Was that really, you know, as I played through a, a Tweed, a Tyler Tweed, a Tyler Blackface, and then kind of went over to Helix, and then was kind of able to play through kind of all the flavors, and then jump into high gain and kind of do my pseudo Jeff Beck mode and my pseudo Steve Vai mode and kind of do some of my Stevie Ray inspired stuff picking up this actually this lovely I don't even know the name of this brand here but this little strati guy here initially I was going to reach for my gem but in any case you know kind of as I was thinking like hey you know inside that Helix universe are we actually able to kind of grab those classic tones that when I was pairing the strat with the blackface Tyler what was it like to then kind of go, all right, let's take that same guitar and try and, and recreate that experience inside the box with Helix and the pair of power cabs that my friends at Line 6 were kind enough to send along. And not only was I able to just kind of shift between just a huge range of tones and add all this nuance, but I was able to kind of take that guitar and go someplace. <laughs> I think all of us who live inside the modeling box think, you know, all right, I've got all this convenience, but you know, side by side, if I actually just went back and forth and back and forth, which would I prefer? And it was really amazing just kind of musically where I was able to go with that. So that was a great moment for me. All right, we'll talk soon. I'm on my way to go see Joe Satriani and Steve Vai together. How awesome is that? So I just wrapped up my last official class for the 2019 Vi Academy in this lovely room that's kind of been my teaching studio away from home. Absolutely had a huge amount of fun in here working with so many great musicians and students talking about some of the things that we all have common challenges with, like the last class I taught, which was about picking the right guitar. The nuances of the fret wire, the tremolo, the weight of the body, the tuning gears, the nut, all these things that sometimes we don't think about until we have a guitar and or start having problems with it. Hey you guys, who are you? Where are we? What's just happened? So I'm Sadie Haddad, I'm from Canada and we just had the Vi Academy experience and I have to say it's reignited my passion for playing and I've rededicated myself to learning some theory and uh, I can't wait to get started. And I'm Ronnie Lee from Los Angeles, and I'll tell you what, I've played a long time, but I went to some of these classes, and there's no, you can always start over, and you can always learn something, and I learned something. I learned a lot of some things, and I thank you guys for a great experience. And the Thanks. friendships made uh, My roomie. are awesome. <laughs> yes. Are awesome. How about Rock that? And Rock and roll. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you, Doug. Thank you. So, we are now at the end of the 2019 Vi Academy. We're here now in the main ballroom, which is now but a memory for those who attended the camp. Right behind me is where the stage was set up and just the last of stuff being torn down here. And, <laughs> uh, but it's been a great experience. Just want to say thank you for hanging out and uh, maybe we'll see you next year. Cheers.